know, the things that shock me are some of the inherent defects in all of the cars that we drive on the road. For example, most people think if you're in a big SUV or a bigger vehicle, the bigger it is, the stronger the roof is going to be, when in reality it has nothing to do with the size of the car. Almost every vehicle on the road has a roof that is really weak because of watered down federal standards. For example, we'll take SUVs or trucks where we've literally bought a vehicle, hung it upside down, and dropped it onto its roof just from a foot off of the ground. And when we've done that, that vehicle's roof collapses all the way to the dashboard. If you were in that vehicle, you would be crushed and killed or paralyzed. Then we'll take the same vehicle, modify it, which would be a $40 to $50 fix on the assembly line, drop that same vehicle on its roof and not even break the glass. It just bounces. So there are many, many defects in vehicles like that that can lead to life or death um, that could be fixed with a mere $40 to $50.